In today's video, I show you just how nasty sand can be, show you how to add it, and then fill the aquarium back up with fresh water after the sand's in. Hey everybody, it's Paul the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day. So, let's go ahead and talk about adding sand into your aquariums. So adding sand, seems like a simple enough job, right? Well, sure, you can go wash your sand and pour it into the tank and smooth it out and you'll be good. Except for, you're gonna have very cloudy water because it went in there in a, I guess you could say disturbing way, not so smooth. So I'm gonna show you guys the best way to add sand to the aquarium so that you are going to um, maximize the time for your water to clear up and so the water is not as cloudy when you put it in. Here's the sand that I'm gonna be putting into the tank. It's the quick read sand that I use in all my tanks because it's affordable, so this is gonna go into this tank. Now this tank has some big things happening to it. So make sure that you guys hit that bell notification and subscribe to the channel so that you guys are gonna see what's coming up. Got the ladder set. So something else to keep in mind is when you're adding rock, sand, anything like that to the aquarium, lower it. You can see I lowered the aquarium down because when you add the sand, it's gonna raise the water level. You don't wanna do it when it's full because you might overflow your tank. Well, you will unless you notice to drain it. So quick little tip, drain your tank when you're gonna add stuff like this to your tank. So those of you who are new to my channel, this is the sand that I was putting into the aquarium. It is by Quickrete, it's commercial grade medium sand. I get it from Home Depot, 100 pound bag, it's like 10 bucks or just under 10 bucks. Needs a lot of washing, but at the end of the day it's worth it. So this is the sand that was in the video today. All right. <clears throat> Now let's hope I don't drop this like I've done before. I've dropped the bucket. I'll tell you guys something. This is not light at all. So I need to get this up on this ladder so that I can go ahead and start getting this done. Yeah. There we go. Bucket up near the top. Let's start adding it in. Once you have your bucket in place that you got your sand in, unfortunately mine isn't set the best, but I gotta make do. Once you're ready to go, get yourself a plastic cup, something that's you know decent quality so it doesn't break on you. Rinse it out with hot water, and you're gonna use this to scoop the sand out of the bucket and put it into the tank. Now what you don't wanna do is just dump it in, because if you dump it in, you're gonna cause um, cloudiness, this is the way to help yourself not have as cloudy water. So you're gonna go ahead and you've got your cup full of the sand, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna come down like this, and you just slowly pour it out, like so. In those comments down below, let, it, let me know. Have you added sand like this to your tank before? I'd be interested to see if this is how you do it. And if not, share how you do add sand to your aquarium. Next cup. See now by going this way, what you're doing is you're giving yourself the best chance to not have cloudy water or really bad cloudy water. Because, let's face it, when you're trying to put sand into a tank, you're gonna get cloudy water. But why not give yourself the best chance to not have cloudy water, right? So as you can see, through two cups, the water is still pretty dang clear.
Now, after you get a nice layer of sand down, however much it is that you're going to want in your aquarium, note that you will have air pockets due to the sand going down. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get something like um, maybe like a um, something like a net or maybe an end to your python water change kit and you're going to want to slightly move the sand back and forth so that it can pull those air pockets out because because air pockets in an aquarium in the substrate can lead to um, some issues. Uh, gas can get stuck in these, these air pockets and if they get released, they can cause harm to your fish. So after you add the sand, make sure that you go back through and slowly move it around to give um, yourself uh, the peace of mind that the air bubbles are out of the substrate. So, as you can see, this is working beautifully. I got a new bucket of sand. What we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go outside over here and uh, rinse it off. You're gonna see exactly why it is so important to make sure that you rinse your sand well. And if you don't rinse it well enough, what it'll do to your tank. Okay, so we got this here. Go ahead and flip this on. Now again, my sand is not, for, it's, it's, uh, it's not like your typical aquarium sand. It's, it works perfect for it. So you're gonna need to do a lot of rinsing if you use this, it's quick reach. But I love it because it's cheap. Okay, I doubt you want that in your aquarium. So that's why you rinse it well and you put it in slowly. The sand is in the tank as you guys can see. And you know, the water, it's gonna have a little bit of cloudiness but compared to what it could be, man, this is great. You can still see through to the other side so that's good. Um, Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but it could be a lot worse. So we're filling the tank back up right now so we can get the filter back on and get this clearing up. So the filter hasn't been running for too long, and as you can see, it looks like there's already been a difference. That is the benefit of adding your sand to your aquarium like that. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and watching the video. Hopefully, this was something helpful for you guys to be able to uh, add sand to your aquarium, maybe this way, to where your water's not gonna be as cloudy. Um, got some big things going on in that tank, so stay tuned for that. So if you guys could comment, like, share the video, and subscribe, you guys are awesome. Stay tight.